Jeannie Mancini is the president of the March for Life. Jeannie, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. You met Blessed Mother Teresa. Tell me I about did. that experience. A quick meeting. I went through and received a blessing and a medal from her, and it was just one of the highlights of my life, as you can imagine. It was uh, just a few months before she died. You wrote this article today in the Washington Times. It's titled, Canonizing Mother Teresa for Her Exaltation of Life. What do you mean by that? Well, there is this terrible movement abroad in our culture right now. It's called Shout Your Abortion. And it's essentially to try to normalize and destigmatize abortion. So you saw, for example, at the Democratic National Convention, Elise Hoag of NARAL Pro Choice America get up and talk about how proud and happy she was that she'd had an abortion of her first child. Um, and you've heard Cecile Richards, president of Planned Parenthood, talk about how their family was complete at three. So she's happy that they chose to terminate number four. I mean, it's just so sad. Mother Teresa is just the antidote to that. Mother Teresa at the 1997 prayer breakfast said, I'll take your child. Don't kill your child. Please give me your child. I'll find a family who wants to adopt your child. I mean, it's like she's the total antidote to where our culture is right now. So warm, so loving, so giving, so understanding. And clear that abortion is taking a life and it's a poverty. Right. Yeah. So you also said in your article uh, that she met with Hillary Clinton and they were at the National Prayer Breakfast, but then they had a one-on-one. -on -one. And in the Washington Times, you say, unfortunately, as is obvious in her stance today, Hillary refused to receive the truth in love. And I just want to push back a little bit on that because mm -hmm. what you're saying is even though Hillary Clinton listened, she didn't receive truth. Isn't that sort of not um, addressing the fact that she did meet with her and just didn't agree with her? Doesn't it shut down the debate right away when you yeah. say something like this? Well, you know, you're probably right. I probably overly simplified it, and certainly I wasn't there in the conversation. But it, truth is truth, and abortion is taking the life of one and wounding the life of another. And for whatever reason, Hillary Clinton, while she's been given lots of opportunities to hear the truth, hasn't received it. And that doesn't mean that we shouldn't stop praying and fasting for her because it is a spiritual battle and some of the you know most pro-abortion people are some of the biggest converts to our issue so I, really I mean please viewers and listeners continue to pray and fast for Hillary Clinton wonderful Jeannie Mancini is president of the March for Life thank you so much for joining us thank you for having me it's a pleasure